Chelsea, it seems, have uh, honed in on their man to replace Maurizio Pochettino. And it's Enzo Maresca who has agreed terms on a five-year deal to become their new head coach. He leaves Leicester after leading them back to the Premier League by winning the championship. He's only had one full season in charge of a senior team. Uh, briefly was in charge of Palmer back in 2021 before being sacked. He was only there for 14 games. The former Chelsea, Real Madrid, uh, Bayern coach Paul Clement joined Andy and Ali in, in uh, the studio for breakfast and shared his view on the Pochettino departure. Pochettino would have been a good manager moving forward with that with that group of players. And and one year in the state that the club's in, and, and when I'm when I say state, in, in terms of the transition that that club mm-hmm. is going through at the moment, um, a, a new way, if you like, with lots of young talent that need help, that need nurturing, that need time. Yeah. So uh, you know, you don't know what's what's gone on, where the fallout has been. But it would have been good to see him there longer term because I think he's a good coach. I think he's got a good track record of working with younger players, which he showed at, at mm-hmm. Tottenham. And the signs were there. Obviously, the start of the season wasn't good, but the signs started to come and yep. they finished the season very strongly. Um, obviously, new guy going in now. Chelsea have a history of success with Italian managers. There's been lots of them. Yep. Um, obviously, he hasn't... Uh, had experience of the Premier League as as a head coach. I've been to see his his, his team play Leicester, and I think they play, you know, good football. Mm-hmm. It's out of that Guardiola type yeah, mould. Yeah. See someone that he he worked with at Manchester City, and I'm sure the players are excited about playing that style. And mm-hmm. you know, it's watch this space, isn't it, yeah, to see it if it, see if it works or not. I mean, it seems as though Chelsea really, as I say, honed in on Maresca for, mm. despite there being talk of a short list and all these other managers who are on it, it, it seemed as though Maresca was their, their number one choice for, for a while anyway. Um, a five-year deal. <laughs> I mean, five years at Chelsea? Most managers don't last that long. So it does seem quite a lengthy deal. Is that because that was one way of just persuading him to come to the club? Um, tough one because it's laughable that Chelsea offer a five-year deal to a manager Um that won't get five years if it's before Christmas and they're struggling, he'll be gone. Because well, that's how the club's being run at this moment in time. Well, I mean, you say that, but obviously Pochettino was given the season. And if you had maybe taken the first part of the season, yeah. you might have understood the decision where they've come to with parting the ways mm-hmm. because it's Chelsea and they don't tend to give managers that long a time. But yet by the end of the season and as uh, as Paul Clement was alluding to there you, things had turned you saw a positivity about Chelsea you saw something that was building that you thought yeah, going is. to next season actually there's a lot maybe more to be optimistic about yet what? they for whatever reason it hasn't worked out well it's telling you how much disharmony was behind the scenes between what Poch was wanting to do and what the owners and, and the club was thinking that should be done and they obviously couldn't he stayed back now they, every All his staff went on holiday. He stayed back and stayed back for two days. In that two mm-hmm. days, there was two days of discussions. They obviously couldn't find a middle ground to keep him. And they've made their mind up, this is the way forward for the club. And like you said, if they'd have started the season brilliantly and ended badly, he would have gone and it wouldn't have been yeah much... You know, there'd have been a few murmurs from fans that probably a little bit disappointed. But it's because of the way they ended. But you could see... It was slightly, it was just developing. It felt like he had a more natural 11. And with, you know, the players are sort of bought into what Poch was trying to do. And it was improvement. Um, but the club clearly were making it. I think he, Poch's decision was already made two or three games before the end, knowing that he wouldn't be the manager. Because right. if they were after Marasco, they were after him. They were after him probably two or three months ago when they got beat by Arsenal 5 0. They'd probably have turned around and gone, we need to be see, so looking what, around for a new manager. what will they have seen in Maresca then that Pochettino didn't offer? Well, they think he fits their DNA of what this club's going in the future. The direction of improving young lads, in, uh, the style of football, because he does play a very, very brave football from the back out. You know, many clubs do this. It happens at all different levels as yeah. well. But they've seen Maresca as a, as a coach that will really... I, don't think of being involved as much in recruitment and who comes into the club. Because Chelsea have done most of their recruitment on the younger element. They do need now a bit more experience within this group, not more young players, unless it's an absolute gem. They they bought a boy, didn't they, recently from South America. Uh, it's come in. But that's not for next season. That will be for the next three or four years down the line. Uh, mm. They've done a lot of transfers like that. 
All right. Well, we're waiting for official confirmation, of course, that Enzo Maresca is the new Chelsea uh, head coach. I mean, Leicester fans wanted him out not just before the end well, of the season. Well, well, it element. wasn't all I'm harmonious. I'm not so sure about that, but... Yeah, it wasn't all harmonious no. at Leicester with some of the fans, certainly. Um even though they eventually went on, of course, to, to win the league as they did and obviously bounce back at the first attempt into the uh, Premier League. But as I say, we're waiting on official confirmation that Maresca is the head coach, new head coach of Chelsea. But it certainly seems as though that is the direction they are going in. You are tuning in to TalkSport this Friday morning. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.